So Microsoft Power BI has a user access problem. What do I mean? Well, you see, when you're assigning access to a report, there's really three different ways that you can grant end users access to a report. First, you can include the report in an app and you can give them access via the app and an audience. Second, you can give them access to a workspace and depending on the role they have, they might be able to see and access all reports within a workspace. And third, you can just grant them access to the report directly itself. Then to make matters even more confusing, the semantic models that the reports are connected to have their own roles and you can essentially have unlimited roles per semantic model and then users can be assigned to any given combination of those roles. So if you work at an organization that was not super disciplined when they were first assigning out these roles, you typically have a real mismatch of access. And if you decide that you wanna fix that problem, you're in for a little bit of a challenge. Luckily for us, Microsoft has released Fabric and we have Fabric Notebooks. And then we have two pretty cool modules. The first module is called Semantic Link. And then the second module is called Semantic Link Lab. And what they allow you to do is they allow you to interact with your Power BI environment in some really cool ways. So what I did is I put together a Fabric Notebook that can take a report name and a workspace name and then pull all the users who have access to that report directly, all the apps associated with that workspace and all of the users of those apps, all of the workspace users, and then all of the roles and who's assigned to those roles in the corresponding semantic model to the report. And I wanna walk you through that notebook and show you how it works. And I'll give you a link to it down in the video description, which by the way, if you're not gonna listen to me explain, please consider subscribing and following me on LinkedIn. But with that, let's go ahead and let's jump into the computer and let's show you how it works. All right, so here we are in my own personal Microsoft Fabric workspace. They keep on renewing my trial. I don't know why, but I've had fab Fabric for like six months now. I'm not, I guess I'm not really doing much with it other than writing cool notebooks. So yeah, but uh, yeah, so here's my notebook. The first thing that I'm doing is that I'm installing Semantic Link Labs. You should have Semantic Link by default, um, which is this sempy.fabric, but you might not have uh, sempy labs. So the first thing you need to do is you need to run the code to install Semantic Link Labs. The next piece that we need is we're gonna import Semantic Link, which is Microsoft's pa package. We're then gonna import um, Semantic Link Labs. We're then going to import Pandas. Next, we're gonna take two strings, and these are the user inputs that you could adjust. So we have the report that you wanna analyze down here, and we have the workspace that you wanna analyze here. Next, in order to use all of the functions that we're gonna have, we need to gather some information. In particular, we need to gather the names of the data set workspace and data set name, and then the IDs of the reports workspace, the report ID, uh, the data set ID, and the data set workspace ID. So the way we can do that right here is I am using semantic link to fetch all of the workspaces that I have access to, filtering down to just that workspace, pulling out the workspace ID here. Then I'm using the report ID and I'm essentially then using semantic link labs to resolve the report ID. Then I'm grabbing the data set. So I'm essentially figuring out what the data set of the report is connected to and I'm grabbing the data set ID, the data set name, the data set workspace ID and the data set workspace name, which then gives us all the variables that we need to execute all of these things. The first thing that I'm doing then is I am using my semantic link to execute a API REST request against the admin, essentially API for Power BI. And I'm saying, hey, for every single app in the apps that I pulled, go ahead and fetch those users. So when I run that, uh, it will go ahead and it'll fetch all of the users. And if a workspace has multiple apps, it'll return multiple uh, data spaces. The next one I'm doing is I'm doing the same thing. So I'm essentially going 
and I am using the standard Power BI API to find all uh, workspace users, right? Then I am finding all of the report users. And here you again, I'm using the admin API. So you need to be your Power BI's tenants admin to use this. And then finally, I am using the semantic link to get all RLS roles and assignments. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much this. And as you can see, it's running through. So you'll see it start returning users, right? So here's the app, right? And then here's my name and everything. Here is all of my workspace users for that same workspace, right? I'm an admin. Court going down here for all the report users, right? I'm the report owner. Here's all of my information. And then going down to the roles, right? There's one role in the semantic model and it's read. So I hope you got some value from this. I hope you get to use this to improve your Power BI environment in the future. Um, yeah. I, I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in more Power BI SQL, or now I guess this is my second video and relatively recently about Python, please consider subscribing, following me on LinkedIn, uh, checking out some of my other videos. You know, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good evening.